If you've turned on mainstream radio for even 30 seconds the last few months, you've probably heard a most fervent anthem of teenage heartache. Written by Olivia Rodrigo and Dan Nigro, the song Driver's License has broken a string of records as the 17-year-old Rodrigo debuted at the top of the Billboard charts, making her the youngest artist in history to do so. And while Olivia's voice and performance is rather remarkable and is not to be dismissed, it's the ever-familiar coming-of-age story of falling for someone just as they've fallen for someone else that plucks a familiar chord in each of us at one time or another. And just like being the last one picked for a pickup game or being the table for one, please, rummaging through the emotional baggage of life is, well part of life. And unfortunately, the moments in feeling less than enough are of no exception. If I were having coffee with Olivia Rodrigo right now, I would simply listen and just nod occasionally. Sometimes you're not supposed to be the answer. Sometimes all they want is just for you to listen. And as the lights in the coffee shop began to turn out, and the open sign on the front door is flipped to close, I would slip her a note on her way out as we parted ways. Find yourself, it would say, before finding someone else. Find yourself before finding someone else. Having a license to drive was the first badge of freedom we all dreamt about. It meant we could go anywhere. We could see anyone, do anything. At least it felt that way. But as with every milestone in life, reaching the other side, we often find ourselves saying, now what? I thought I would feel different, happier, more put together, more fulfilled. But just like driving a car, Finding that someone or something such as a career or a house or that dream life you've seen on billboards, all of this will never fulfill what's missing inside. Taking the time to reflect, to recenter, and to readjust your view of yourself will illustrate how those people, places, or things were never designed to fill the void in you to begin with. It's okay, hop in. Let's get behind the wheel and look ahead as we navigate these complicated roads. Life has its potholes, but it doesn't mean we should sit idle as the world passes. Let's open the map and find where we're headed, and most importantly, how to get there. I'm Chad Lawson, and let's calm it down in three, two, one. Find yourself before finding someone else. While Driver's License is at the core of a really great breakup song, there are some crumbs that Olivia has dropped that point back to something more important than her love leaving her. Insecurities. There's a lyric in the song that says, And you're probably with that blonde girl who always made me doubt. She's so much older than me. She's everything I'm insecure about. I'll spare you my singing, as I'm no vocalist, but it goes without saying we have things we are mm, less than confident about. Things you can't change, traits, or characteristics that simply make up who you are. But that's it right there. Who you are. Uniquely you. What makes you, you. A lot of times it's easier for us to tag the blame on someone else. As if her lyrics were to say, I'm worthless because he wanted the older blonde. If only I were blonde and older, then he'd love me. Then I'd be happy. In a roundabout way, that's much easier for her to say. But we all do this so often, don't we? Thinking we aren't enough. How we don't measure up. How happier you would be if you were just a little different. I'm quiet and rather reserved, and I prefer to sit on the sidelines. 
Try as I did for a number of years, being the animated life of every conversation felt, well, to be blunt, fake. It wasn't who I am at heart, not to mention propelling this other me narrative was exhausting. If you're accepted for being what you are not, then are you really accepted? If you're wearing stripes to cover your spots, eventually your stripes will show. So, why not just wear your stripes to begin with? Find the person that embraces the parts of you that you can't. I'm going to say that one more time. Find the person that embraces the parts of you that you can't. So you're not a certain height, a certain physique, or perhaps a certain personality. Embrace what you think are your shortcomings. Nothing needs to be custom made to tailor the wants of someone else. Trying to mask the parts of you you wish were different just for the acceptance of someone else is a house of cards waiting to collapse. You are you, and that is what makes you beautiful. And when I say person, it doesn't have to be a one-on-one -on -one relationship. This can mean a friend or even a group of friends or a community that you're longing to be a part of. Realize what you give, what you bring to others, no one else is able to bring. And sometimes what you bring to others, they may not be in that season of life, but they're not seeing or needing who you are as a person doesn't mean you are of no value. It simply means what you bring is of no value to them. To which I ask, why would you continue to pour into something that doesn't recognize your worth? For some, they may be in a temporary season, where soon eh, they'll understand they're just going through something. For others, they have set the course in an entirely different direction, and that's okay, because their course is not your course, and your course is not their course. Mark Twain once said, A man cannot be comfortable without his own approval. I couldn't agree more. Take some time alone and write out what makes you, you. Next to those traits, write out how you love that about yourself. What is yours, truly yours? What speaks to your truest nature? Make a list and realize this is who you are. And this is what you bring to others. Finding your place in other circles is no walk in the park. Taking the time to learn about yourself, to learn who you are, and to learn that a person or a group of people aren't going to be the key to your happiness. But the more you take the time to understand yourself, to accept yourself, the easier it will become to give of yourself without wondering if you're good enough. And when this happens, you will find what you thought you needed in someone else was inside of you all along. I'd like to leave you with this quote from Malcolm Forbes. Too many people overvalue what they are not and undervalue what they are. I can't speak directly to Olivia Rodrigo unless she's listening to this episode, which, hello. But I hope one day she realizes that she is exactly who she is supposed to be. Just as you are exactly who you are supposed to be. To find more episodes of Comet Down, hear the musical playlist from today's episode, or simply wanting to know where to send chocolate chip cookies, visit CometDownPodcast.com. You'll even find additional resources for emotional support, including our online community and our Facebook page. You're not alone. You are not 
alone. This podcast was written and produced by yours truly, Chad Lawson, composer, pianist, and nationally recognized Sweet Tooth. And now something my attorney wants me to say. The views, expressions, and techniques in this episode are of my personal opinion and is not intended to, nor should they serve as a substitute for medical advice or diagnosis rendered to you by your individual doctor or other healthcare provider. Only a licensed physician should evaluate your situation, provide a diagnosis, or render other medical advice to you, and you should only act upon the advice of such physician. Now, what I'd like to say. I am an extreme empath by nature, But my profession is that of a composer and pianist, not a licensed therapist or physician. I hear from thousands of listeners how my music has helped them through various stages of emotional needs, and I simply want to offer this and future podcasts in aiding those needs. To find a list of licensed professionals in your area, please visit CalmItDownPodcast.com. And finally, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a review. While it takes less than 60 seconds to do, its impact will last for years to come as every little bit helps in growing the awareness and the importance of emotional health. I'm Chad Lawson, and until next time, be kind to your mind, and join me next week as we calm it down.